Hey guys, the DVD update here for another Real DVD Watchers review. Um, for today, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Beetlejuice. Um, so yeah, check it out. I got it on Blu-ray. I got this for pretty cheap at uh, Target, I think for eleven ninety-eight or something around there. Comes in at ninety-two minutes and it's PG, which is quite interesting. But I'll get to that in a second. Special features include three three hilarious episodes of the Cartoon Show, which I watched a little bit of. Um, the theatrical trailer, um, a music-only audio track, and it also comes with a second disc, which you see right here, which is a CD sampler, which comes with a ton of music from the movie, which I thought was kind of cool. I didn't even know that it doesn't even advertise that it comes with a CD sampler anywhere on the case. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, as it says on the front cover here, it says Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice, so this movie has... Um, Michael Keaton plays Beetlejuice. Uh, you got uh, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin play the main couple, and it's about this main couple, uh, the main couple that um, that have own this house in a very small, small town in Connecticut, and um, you know they're just happy there. They're ha they're, they're happy away from everybody. They're having a vacation that they decide to take at home and just do their hobbies. His hobby is miniatures. He has a miniature. Um, uh, miniatures as in like miniature towns and stuff like that. He has the whole town that they live in up in the attic on this nice big table uh, that he builds himself. And so uh, then you get this real estate lady that is really wanting him to sell because these rich people from New York want to buy their house for like six million dollars, way more than it's worth, etc. Trying to get them to sell their house um, uh, because the real real estate lady says a fam this is a family house. It's too big for the just those two people and um, uh, of course, they're adamantly saying no because they like their house, obviously. Um, it's like an old farmhouse, but it's quite big, and it's isolated all on its own on this top of a hill overlooking the whole town, which is pretty cool. And uh, so they go into town to get, you know, just some general stuff. He gets some model stuff. She comes with him. On their way back, a dog, uh, like, jumps out in front of him, runs out in front of him, and they have to swerve the car. And then it crashes through a bridge, falls into the, uh, to, the to a river, and they die. And so now they're ghosts, and these rich people from New York just come in and totally gut their house, uh, turn it into some modern crap. Um, the lady's a sculptress. The guy's like, I don't even know what he does. He does. He's in real estate. And so basically the rest of the movie is them figuring out what the hell to do as ghosts and trying to get these people, this new family that moved in, out of their house and to leave them alone. Uh, and the daughter of these people is played by Winona Ryder, and she's a goth type. She's really young. She's a, a goth type girl, you know, very different, always wearing black with veils, always taking pictures and stuff like that. Um, so, very goth and emo ish. And uh, she's the only one that can see them, and she befriends them. But they're still trying to get. Since they're new ghosts, they don't know how it works. And uh, so. Uh, this infomercial guy over here, Beetlejuice, says that he can like fix everything for them, but there's always a catch and stuff like that. So that was the basic plot. Most of you guys have seen this movie. I, mean, I, I, I watched this movie all the time back in the day. Um, and surprisingly, I don't know why I did not get scared, because watching this back, um, there's a lot of stuff in there that would, I, it would seem scary to a kid, to me, I guess. Although it didn't scare me as a kid, so I don't know why I would say that, but it, I mean... Like, when they're trying to scare the uh, people away, the guy, like, rips off his face, all of his skin comes off, and it just shows the fleshy skeleton underneath, and his eyes, like, pop out like a foot. Um, the girl hangs herself in the closet, um, and the guy lays headless on the ground, and the one, and the girl is sitting there with a knife and, and his decapitated head with some blood all around uh, uh, to try to scare him off, which doesn't work because they can't see them yet. I mean, it's like, whoa, that's that's crazy. Um, so, yeah. This is a great movie. Uh, it's Tim Burton, by the way. I forgot to mention that, so you know it's going to be kind of awkward and creepy. Also very stylistic and awesome at the same time. Um, so they call on Beetlejuice to help him out, which is like a double-edged sword. He's like a car salesman. He's like tells you one thing, and it's like something totally different. Um, I mean, PG. Uh it's, it's crazy because, like, Beetlejuice, you know, he's always trying to grope the woman, um, look up her skirt, 
he says he, he said fuck it one time he said fucking at one time which i was like whoa i thought that would automatically make it a pg-13 but i guess not back in that day he says shit a lot um he goes to uh, strip clubs and stuff like that so it was like kind of awkward i was like wow i don't remember any of this from back in the day um but it happened <clears throat> and so you know that's this movie is great i mean you guys should definitely check it out um it's one that that I remember off nost or I wanted to get off nostalgia and I watched and it still holds up today. There's, there I, I mean it's not as funny. I mean there's some funny parts and I laugh, but I mean it's not as funny as when it was back then. A lot of people seem to remember the scene where they like take over the people that uh, a, a, um, they're having a dinner party and they take over. There's like six people and they take over their bodies and they make them sing and dance, um, which is a funny scene. I like that to see that as well. Uh, special features, like I said, they're not much, just the theatrical trailer and the isolated um, music-only audio track. But it does come with three episodes of Cartoon Show, which I really haven't watched. Uh, I watched when it came on TV for a little bit, um, and that's not out on DVD yet either. I used to own, own a bunch of these toys as well. Um, but yeah, when they go in the underworld to like get information on why, why they're ghosts, there's a lot of stuff that's like, whoa. Um, like there's this guy that got ran over by a car, and he's just... You know, totally flat, and it's just like flesh hanging all over the place. And um, there's like people with their throats slashed and their wrists slashed. And um, like the one lady that's supposed to be like their, their, like their guide or whatever. She smokes a lot, and she has a big gash in her neck that's like open, and the smoke, the smoke comes out of her neck when she in, after she inhales. So I mean, it was kind of like crazy stuff to put in like a, a, a movie. Um, uh, marketed towards kids and with a PG rating and things like that. But uh, if you guys haven't seen this, which I know some of you probably have by now, um, definitely check it out. It's worth a watch. And so that's been my review of Beetlejuice. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for Kayla tomorrow. And as always, I'll see you when I see you.